Hello again. You might be wondering why I'm standing by the door of my garage. I recently discovered that this is a good spot to film because this is a dead end and it's usually windy here and there's not going to be much wind coming from here or at least there's no pass through of the air. And I figured it out in the previous episode while I was doing the garden review. I was recording my audio from here and it seemed to work. But anyway, luckily the wind hasn't picked up yet so I might be able to record around the garden again. Last week I mentioned that I was going to start working on the tulip patch somewhere at the back by the fence. But in order to do that I need to get rid of all of the stuff that I placed there. And that includes all of the rocks, all of the boulders, the pots, plants. And that's going to be a huge undertaking. So if I wanted to make any headway into planting the tulips, I need to get on top of that as soon as possible. Let's go! <laughs> but before we begin, I need to prepare my tools and I can see myself needing to shift some soil and some of the boulders and for that I might need help lifting but since I'm going to do this all by myself I'll have to make use of my handy dandy wheelbarrow Start off with the easy part, then just get rid of all of the pots. After moving the pots and boulders out, I also had to remove any remaining plants. There are two clumps of imbricata and a bunch of blue chalk sticks in the way. I need them out because I intend to create a mound and raise the soil level since after all I'm still working mostly with succulents and they would very much prefer a well draining medium.
With everything out of the way, it was finally time to backfill the area. I made sure to prepare a loose soil mix composed of garden soil and scoria. I have sufficiently mounded the area to designate this area as a tulip area. So I'll start from this rock right here all the way until that rock over there. This will be my tulip area. What I have to do now is to think about the staging. I'll have to mark the areas where I'll be putting down the tulips so that I could arrange the rocks around them as well as figure out how I would like to stage any tapestries that I would want to do surrounding the tulips. I will be probably using some of the Echeveria imbricata that you see here. Since they are already here, I might as well keep them. And I'm also definitely thinking of using some of my colorful Echeverias. This spot is perfect for them, they don't need protection over here. So I'll be working on a design right in this spot. I spent the next several minutes looking for a layout I was happy with. I decided to put the variegated ones up front while the single tones went to the back. Once I was satisfied with the layout, I can now put the rocks back in. It's time to flex those muscles again.
dug a hole about 6 inches deep, that's about 15 centimeters. Then I laid all the bulbs in the hole that I made. And I made sure to give them a bit of space. And once that's all done and dusted, I put the soil back on top of them. And marked the area where I planted the bulbs with the cardboard that came with it. As well as a bunch of pebbles indicating how many bulbs I have planted. Finally planted all of the bulbs in, right Zach? And I have my Patreon supporters to thank for that because I used my Patreon money to purchase all of these bulbs. So of course, special mentions go to Oscarino, Julie Seals, Nat Kui, Camille Narvaez, and Gloria Ninotti. Because literally without you, this is not possible. And the great thing about this, I managed to complete everything in just one afternoon. In the next episode, I would start thinking about the tapestry and the other plants that I'm going to place in this landscape. I think for a start, I'll be thinking about the foundation plants first. So, if you remember the echeverias in the pots that I removed from this area, I'm going to put, I'm going to put them back in just for staging because I'm not sure where they would be going yet. But they will definitely be coming back to this area. Before I forget, do check out my friend Tom's channel. He recently posted his first succulent video and you might want to check it out. You could click on the link in the top right corner or check down below in the description. <laughs>